Hi everybody, my name is Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah channel and this is try number two. The first time we tried number one, we had a bat that came out in our house and um, the dogs were going crazy and hopefully they won't go crazy now. So we are the people who believe that the laws, statutes and commands are good for all generations, for all people. We believe that Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy is a guideline to life. It is what we should be living our life by. It is what we should be gauging everything that we do by and it is by that Torah by those laws statutes and commands that we are able to get to this kingdom that for the most most part most of us are seeking and so how are you guys doing today good everything good good a little not close talkative here Eli's still uh in bed actually he's not in bed he's trying to get up but he's really really slow at getting up okay we are month 10 on our creator's calendar we are the what day are we? Uh, it's the ninth day on his month. It is the second day of his week, and it is the second day on the Gregorian calendar, which makes it January the 2nd. Um, I'd like to do uh, a quick little reminder to anyone that is looking for any kind of good reading material um, at yahooandthetorah.net, um, which is y-h-w-h-a-n-d-t-h-e-t-o-r-a-h.net. You can click on downloads at the very top and we have a fairly extensive library right here and a couple of really super good books if you're in English are the Torah Commands books and the, the top part, the, the Free Restored Names Scriptures is a very, very good translation that is available free of charge and you guys can download that, share that to your friends, um, get that into as many hands as possible. You know, when people are able to read the laws, statutes and commands of our creator and, and you read it as a love letter, to you, lives can change. People's hearts and attitudes and ways they act can change. And so um, this is a very good place to go. These are all completely 100% free. And hopefully somebody will um, download those, stick those to your devices. And if we ever lose internet or something of the sort, you can always resort to your PDFs on your tablet. And um, we will go from there. So we are on Wisdom of Solomon. And um, we, we have the running joke of this being Hackman because we did some typos on our own side here. Uh, but it's not Hackman, it is, it's Chokma, Shal Shal Shaloma, and it's the wisdom of Solomon. So here we are in um, chapter 12. Everyone ready? Yep. For your incorruptible Ruhak is in all. Okay, what is a Ruhak? It is a spirit. Okay, and so it says you're incorruptible. Who's who's he talking about? I believe Yahuwah. Yeah, and so your incorruptible ruhak is in all. Therefore, little by little, you discipline those who offend and warn them by keeping them in remembrance of that in which they have sinned, so that turning from their wickedness, they believe on you, O Yahuwah. Okay, do we know this is, is correct, right? Yes. What, what, is, what is he saying with this, Cade? He's saying that his ruach is going to put the people back on the path that they that they are offending against him, they are sinning against him, and he's going to put them back on the path. And you know something that says here it says little. It's um, where to say that right there? So the, the turning from your wickedness by the hands. Let's see where that goes. It's that? first two little right? by little. Yeah, the very first second thing. Little by little, you discipline those who offend. Um, that is probably a really good thing or a really good thing to read because if we were disciplined all at once for what we deserve, um, it would just be a very, very bad day. Okay, so we, um, I'm going to start right there. And warn them by keeping them in remembrance of that in which they have sinned so that turning from their wickedness, they believe on you, O Yahuwah. By the hands of our fathers, you determined to destroy both those old inhabitants of your Kadesh land whom you hated for doing most abominable works of witchcraft and wicked slaughterings, and also those cruel murders of children and devourers of the flesh of man and the feasts of blood with their priests from among their idolatrous groups. Okay, I go up there to um, where it says works of witchcraft. What do we know that would be qualified as witchcraft in, in, in scriptures? What is witchcraft? Uh, it is like uh, magic. Isn't it? Yeah, magic, incantations, spells, um, sorcery, right? If you take if you if you take one kind of a um, thing and you mix it with another kind of a thing, um, you're, you're concocting a, a potion, right? You're 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 doing. This is all called witchcraft. So that leads us to very delicately speak about the world that we are in right here, where the world is full of witchcraft, right? 
they want to put stuff in you that for the most part is all about witchcraft. And so we have to be very, very cautious of this because it says that Yahuwah hates the abominable works of witchcraft. So if we are involved in witchcraft at all, in any way, shape or form, knowing or not knowing, that is something that we're, it's not, it's not good. Okay, um, right here. And devourers of the flesh of man and the feasts of blood with their priests from among their idolatrous group and the parents that killed helpless lives with their own hands so that the land which you esteemed above all might receive a worthy assembly of children of Elohim. Okay, what, what's he talking about, the, the parents that killed helpless lives? What I believe this is sacrificing their children to Moloch. Yeah. I think it's like the baby they're sacrificing. Yeah, killing their kids to Moloch, killing them off, those kind of things. Um, so that the land which you esteemed above all other might receive a worthy assembly of children of Elohim. Nevertheless, even those you spared being men and sent hornets, forerunners of your host, to destroy them little by little. Not that you were unable to bring the wicked under the hand of the righteous in battle or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts or with one stern word, but executing your judgment upon... Come on. What happened here? You are on 10. Yeah, the judgment is just not refreshing. This is really slow. My tablets were really slow. Judgments on them little by little. You gave them place for repentance, not being ignorant that they were a wicked generation and that their evil was inherited and that their minds could never be changed. For it was a cursed seed from the beginning. Neither for fear of any man did you pardon them for those matters in which they sinned. For who shall say, what have you done? Or who shall withstand your judgment? Or who shall accuse you for the nations that perish whom you made? Or who shall come to stand against you to be avenged for the unrighteous? For neither is there any Elohim but you that looks after all. I, Thanks, Jade. I, th I think it's important because everyone's like, oh, your God is so violent. He just wants to kill the nations. He wants to hurt the people. Um, and here it just says he doesn't. Yep, and he, he doesn't. It says he loves everybody, but he says that you know everybody is falling into sin. And if we are sitting here doing abominable things, then we are not doing what our Creator wants us to do. Um, and I don't know how to get rid of this thing now. And I just really messed it up now. Uh, where, where are we at? 14. 14. Maybe it did go away. Okay. All right, Jade. This is a little thing that I'm trying to do here. If you want to be the navigator on this, you got to like uh, not hit the button the same this multi-touch screen is only multi-touch for one person. <laughs> Are we good? Yep. Okay. 14. For whom they treated with scorn when he was sent out long before the throwing out of the infants. In the end, when they saw what came to be, they admired him. But for the foolish schemes of their wickedness being deceived, they worshiped serpents empty of reason and vile beasts. Are we sure you're the same chapter? Are we like, even the same thing? Did I? Did it just take us to another? Did, yeah, I think you go pay. I think, yeah. Oh, that's why. Wow, are we eleven? Yeah, when you go to twelve. Wow. Okay, so we're totally burned. All right, Jade, you can't do that. That really messes us up. All right, so where were we at for real? Fourteen. Sorry, everybody. This is a mess today. Okay, I got to get my old navigator back. Eli, you got to get out of bed in the morning. Can you do that? Can you get that on video right here? Can you, can you give me an oath and a commitment that you will be up? It, what time is it right now? 6.25. It is 6.25. We were up at 5.50. Can you give me an oath that you will be here for everyday stuff in front I'll of try. everybody? You will try. All right, that's good enough. I'll take that. Okay. Neither shall sovereign or ruler be able to turn his face against you for any whom you have punished. Even as you yourself are righteous, you order all righteously. How many of those verses did I read before you guys stop me? Two. Two. Great. Okay. Determining it not agreeable... Within your power can to condemn he who does not deserve to be punished, for your power is the beginning of righteousness. And because you are add-on of it all, it causes you to show favor to all. For when men shall not believe that you are all-powerful, you showing your strength, and among those who know it, you make your boldness manifest. Okay, is this true? Does Yah 
hang with us? Does he embolden us? Does he make? I believe so. Yeah, I mean, he he's more powerful than anybody. He uh, controls everything. So we've seen so. we've seen that here in our lives. We've seen that when our house was raided by the police like a year or so ago, uh, when they came down here at like five something in the morning, six o'clock, uh, with five vehicles, fifteen cops, and they 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 came to cause chaos and. Um, our creator strengthened us. He emboldened us. He gave us wisdom. He gave us strength. He gave us courage. And um, at the end of the day, when I was escorting those policemen out of our house after they had to knock because the dogs were here, I gave them a huge, we had a huge box of Bibles. And I gave every one of those Spanish-speaking policemen a Bible. And they had attempted to set us up and attempted to take me into jail um, because we were fighting pedophiles. We were fighting pedophiles down here who had taken a child and had allowed him to be molested by a, a group of white Christian church down here. Their leader was molesting him. We got in the middle of it. We start fighting them publicly down here, just like we're fighting the Hallelujah Scripture grifters. And they decided they're going to raid our house. Um, the only thing that stopped really was some stuff, but we have always been on this and it is crazy because they still have this kid in jail. So anyway, um, back to this, we have definitely seen this. We've seen the strength of our creator. Our Elohim walks among us. We are very, very grateful for him. We are very, very thankful for him. And I still am going to say having 10 pit bulls, I don't think that you would be able to survive this unless you had the extracurricular power of the messengers that sat and helped us because we are, we get into a lot of trouble around here very quickly. And um, so far we're still alive, which is, is quite amazing. Okay, let's continue. For when men shall not believe that you are all powerful, you show your strength. And among those who know it, you make their boldness manifest. But you, mastering your power, rightly rule with straightness and command us with great favor. For you determine when you use your power. But by such works, you have taught your people that the righteous man should be kind and have prepared your children with good expectancy that you allow repentance for sins. Okay, I think we should stop right there because it says, you know, by your works, you have taught your people that the righteous man should be kind. Guys, what is, this, what is he talking about here? What does this mean exactly? He's talking about not turning your hand away from the poor, the broken, the people, your neighbor. About having a good heart towards the people around you. Yeah, and what what is kindness? Is is kindness loving our neighbor? Is yeah. kindness loving our brother? You know, I had a guy that sent me an email, and he I, I think he was kind of like um, he might have been kind of like possibly shaming me, or or not, or maybe I got the wrong thing. But it was when we were talking um, about brothers, who's our brother, and I said everybody's our brother, and he wrote an email. He says everybody is not your brother, and you know. You could go with that attitude and you could basically look at the world around us and say, you're not my brother, you're not my sister, you're not my family, you're not any of this. Because what do we know of who is our brother and who is our sister? Those who do the will of the creator. Right. Those who are in the Torah. So essentially, at one level, he's right, right? Because according to that, it, the majority of the world is not keeping the laws, statutes, and commands of our creator, which would technically not make them our brother. But here's the thing. Not everybody is going to get on the same page at the same time. There's going to be people all the way to the very bitter end that all of a sudden pick up the Torah and decide to keep the Torah. So all of these potential people who we say are not our brothers because they're not in the Torah, well, that is a very bad attitude that we have because everybody can be our brother, right? You can convert any single person over there. And I didn't even say convert. It's a lifestyle change, right? You can get somebody to start seeking the creator. And when they seek the creator, they are family. They are brothers of Messiah Yahushua. They are sons of the most high Elohim. And they are your brothers and sisters. And so we can never, ever give up hope. Even if you don't think the entire world is your brother and sister, there is a potential to make them your brother or sister because it's part of your fishing mission, part of your seeking seeking men, that you should be telling these people all about what is going on and the good things of the Torah and the ways of our creator, things like that. So anyway, um, uh, and command us with great favor for you determine when you use your power, but by such works you have taught your people that the righteous man should be kind and have prepared your children with good expectancy that you allow repentance for sins. For if you punish the enemies of your children and those condemned to death which such with such deliberation giving them time and place 
whereby they might be delivered from their evil. With what great discernment you rightly ruled your own children, unto whose fathers you have sworn and made covenants of good promises. Therefore, whereas you discipline us, you scourge our enemies 1,000 times more, to the intent that when we judge, we should carefully think of your goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for kindness. All right, guys, this is something we should understand, right? We might get discipline in our life. We might get um, our creator, Papa, Abba, Abba, he might spank us on the rear end and give us some things that, um, you know, that what we need, some discipline, right? But understand that our enemies are beaten a thousand times more. And what he's saying, Cade, if you're not paying attention here, is that we need to have, if you think of judging someone, you need to think of the goodness of Elohim in that judging of others. And he says, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for kindness. What is he saying about all of this? How, and who is he talking about judging? Is it brothers inside of it's families? Every, or everybody. It's everybody. Okay. So, I says mercy. I think mercy is a better word for it. Than goodness? Than kindness, I think. So y we should look for kindness, right? What is, is kindness mercy? In a way. Uh, in a way it I, is. But I think mercy is like, like, ref, like repentance. If you God. have no kindness, would you have mercy? No. No, you would give no, you would show zero mercy. So, you know, mercy or kindness, it, it is kind of the same thing, right? Um, almost. I mean, there, there is a thing, but if you are not kind, you're not going to show mercy. You're not going to have the ability to show mercy because you're, you're just a, a, you know, cold individual or something of the sort, or you just don't know what forgiveness is. Okay. So, um, we got to be careful when we judge, right? Because we know that our Elohim is going to judge us. And with what we judge others, it will be judged to all of us. All of us. 23. Wherefore, whereas men have lived corruptibly and unrighteously, you have punished them with their own abominations. For they went very far astray in the ways of strain and upheld for mighty ones the beasts which were even among their enemies were despised being deceived as children of no understanding. Um, what beasts are we talking about? Um, Slaughtering pigs? I mean, are they worshiping pigs? What, what maybe. Beasts? Um, we know the Satanists have a beast goat god they call the Baphomet. It's like half beast, half. it's like a half male, half female, creepy looking um, half goat thing. It, it, with like, some abominations. Yeah, it's, it's definitely some abomination. Um, and they worship that, right? And so, I mean, that would be a, a mighty one, right? The beast from which their enemies were despised, right? The bafflement. Okay. Being deceived as children of no understanding, therefore unto them as children without the use of reason, you sent a judgment to mock them. But those who would not repent by that correction in which he scolded them shall feel a deserved judgment from Elohim. See, for what matters they grumbled when they were punished that is, from those which they thought to be mighty ones, being punished because of them when they saw it. They acknowledged him to be the true Elohim, whom before they refused to know, and therefore severe judgment came upon them. Okay, what do we make of all this, this chapter exactly? So it's about kindness, mercy, and judgment. It's about repentance, how Yahuwah judges the wicked, how he takes people that are denying him, that are worshiping other than me, and he's going to chastise them. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. So we were, it, it's about kindness, it's about mercy, it's about how he's going to judge. But it is also something of, of hope for us because we know that we all came from Babylon. We all came out of sin. And so we are all broken in the eyes of Elohim Most High. If we are to be judged based on our actions of old, we're, we're in trouble. Now, if we are smart enough or we have the wisdom enough to have the capability enough to seek the creator where he is able to be found and to seek his law statutes and commandments before it's all said and done it said our creator is willing to um, work with us right he's willing to um, not just throw us to the pits and you know for those he loves and those he is um, trying to bring to him he, he will chastise and so sometimes in life, we will have a lot of calamity and a lot of issues. And it could simply be a message from our creator to get back into the grind. Or it could simply be we've been turned over to Asatan or just could be we're simply being tested. A lot of, a lot of different things on there. So 
the only way forward, which is what the Torah means, the right way forward, is the Torah. And without the Torah, we're lost. We are walking through darkness with no light at all. We're walking through a minefield in the middle of the dark with no lights, no anything. And if we don't make it through it, we're going to die. If we step on a mine, we are going to die. If we step into sin and we don't, we, we continue on in sin, that is the mind that we will die. So we have to be very, very careful about this. And the only way we will know what sin is, is by reading the Torah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And for those of you out there, wherever it is, whenever it is that you guys listen to this, this is a love letter to you. Our creator has produced a love letter to you. And it is that love letter that will get you into a covenant relationship with him. But just by listening to people like me without doing your own research or people like us without doing your own research, you're not going to find the way forward. I could simply be repeating lies, which I'm not, but you wouldn't know that unless you read this. And so start getting the indoctrination of all the lies that we've been taught begins by seeking the source. The source is the Torah. And that is where we can begin with all of this. And this is where we can change our life and we can get on the right path forever. All right, gentlemen, anything else? No, uh, we will be live this coming Wednesday. week with yep. the Ecclesia, the Third Ecclesia. Yep. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Yep. Live on Wednesdays, live on Shabbat. And hopefully we will see you guys there. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom.